Today what I'm going to show is how to do the opening balance for accounts and supplier and customer. Set up, balance, account opening balance and this is the place to key in all your account opening balance. Let's say our bank is 3000 and I got the debtors opening for 10,000 and maybe I have another 10,000 for my creditors and in this case assume that I have 3,000 for my capital so I will see my amount left to allocate will be zero you must make it the amount left to be allocated is a must to be zero then it's so called teddy okay so after that once we create our account opening balance, we have to create our customer opening balance and supplier opening balance as well. So, same thing, we go back to the setup, balance, customer balance, and I have two customers at here, one, two, three, and ABC. Let's say that I assume I add a new sales that one, two, three, I have 5,000 for this invoice. Of course, you have to key in one by one, and the date is a must to be last year date. And one more is from ABC. Maybe ABC also owe me uh, one invoice is 5000 or so. So I just key in. So after I key in, everything is tidy. I will receive this message Congratulations, your total outstanding invoice equal the balance of your link receivable account, which means your control account. So after we do the customer side opening balance we need to do our suppliers also set up balance supplier balance so same thing i add the purchase for seven eight nine maybe seven eight nine or last year i own them eight thousand and i own it by zach another two thousand just three of course that you have changed your date invoice number also so after that record again i will see this conversion your total outstanding purchase equal the balance of your link payable account which means your control account as well so that's all about how to do the opening balance for accounts and customer and purchase thank you for watching